today was the first real test of my Champion Tri-Fuel 11,500 watt generator. Run it off of natural gas, so it's really 9375 starting watts. I got this big Champion power cord. Goes over here to the side of the house. Plugged it in. Here had a electric had a uh, electrician come and run the uh, power cable into the fuse box breaker box and I got this little disconnect here so the generator can't be ran uh, generator can't be ran while the home power is on to run the generator you flip off the home breaker lift this up turn the generator on and then being that it's run off of natural gas here's that big power cord and this is what I use for the natural gas I bought this three-quarter inch uh, stainless steel flexible line from Home Depot this is the uh, cord that, this is the half inch line that came with the generator I got a uh, this is the quick connect for the generator I got a little union to go from three-quarter to uh, half inch and then this is the quick connect that goes into my natural gas line natural gas line is on the other side of the house I didn't want to run pipe all the way around the house have some ugly pipe going all the way around my house didn't want to run it through the attic either. I had a plumber come give me an estimate on running it and uh, he didn't even call me back. So evidently he didn't like the idea of running it through the uh, attic either. So uh, my natural gas line. This is a uh, one inch, one inch line. Put a little o-ring here, a new o-ring here. I, I switched the gas off down there at the bottom. Dropped the meter, which is really lightweight, easy to take off. Built all this line here, put a bracket, made a bracket, put it here. Got two disconnect valves or two shutoff valves for double for safety. Quick connect here. And uh, when I'm ready to connect it, connect the quick connect here from that yellow line you saw earlier. Turn the gas on, fire the generator up. Now, being it's such a long run of line, it took a little bit of cranking to get all the air out of the line and get gas in there. But once it finished cranking, it fired right up, and I've run it for an hour. And it's supplied the whole house with power. I was able to run two refrigerators, a bunch of lights, fans, and a uh, little window unit that we keep in the bedroom to keep the bedroom extra cold. And it powered up the whole... We keep this little window unit to keep the bedroom extra cold to save money and not run the whole house uh, super cold. Because my wife likes it really cold in the bedroom. And so that generator took a little bit of work to fire up this AC, but it fired up no problem. You could, do, you could definitely hear the draw on the generator when it fired up, but it fired up and ran. So uh, I ran this thing for over an hour and it powered everything in the house, Wi-Fi, lights, refrigerators, AC, everything. So this little champion generator cost a thousand bucks at Home Depot and uh, worked pretty good. I'm happy with it.